Hello, I'm the Budget Mother and welcome to my Valentine's Special. In this episode I'm going to show you how to turn some aluminium foil lids, like these ones, into a stunning rose, just like this one. So if you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. In this tutorial, we're doing something completely different. And so far outside my comfort zone, it's in another postcode. Flower making. How did I get here? Anywho, to begin with, we're going to take the foil and flatten it out. Take out all those ridges. To do this, I'm going to be using a combination of my fingernails and a smoothing tool. So, without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. Why am I doing this? Well, my partner deserves it. I wanted to do something different and special, so I decided to make her a single rose in her favourite colour, purple. This is the way. There we go, that's the foil flattened out, ready to have the petals cut out of it. I decided to use a template to make the petals. You can use whatever material you feel comfortable using. As a plastic modeler, I decided to use 0.8mm thick styrene sheet for those. I also used a circle template to draw half circles and a ruler for the straight edges. So let's get these three templates made. I'm making one small one for the inner petals one medium one for the mid-range petals and one large one for the outer petals. There we have the first two templates made. I thought these would be enough, but they weren't. So I had to make a third one, so we'll do that one in a bit. Now, let's get these petals cut out, shall we? Petals cut out, check. Barbecue skewer cut to size, check. Great, let's get these first four petals glued to the skewer stem. I'm gonna be gluing them with super glue and I'm also using accelerator to speed up the process. So let's get these done, shall we? When I wrap the petals around the stem, make sure they're slightly skewed. I'm skewing them to the left. Don't have the petal facing straight up, like what I did at the beginning. There we have the first four petals done. Now to cut out the mid-range petals. 
here we go with that. There we have the mid-range petals all cut out, ready for gluing. Now we're going to glue these in place and again I'll be skewing the petals to the left and then gluing them with super glue and then use an accelerator on them. So here we go with that. And there we go, that's what we have so far. Coming along nicely, I'm pretty chuffed with how this is looking. Anyway, let's get back to the other petals. And all four petals glued on. And it's coming along really nicely, but it's not enough. And it was at this point I realized I needed bigger petals for the outer petals. So it's out with the styrene again and time to make a larger petal template. Here we go. There we have the large template cut out. Now to mark out and cut out the larger petals from the foil. So here we go with that. And there we have the four large petals cut out ready. Next, we can glue those to the rest. Remember to skew the petals. We're skewing them to the left on this one. Then we super glue them and we use accelerator to quickly set the super glue. So let's crack on. Here we go, this is what it's looking like so far. Really chuffed with this. The outer petals I'm bending outwards as a normal rose would look. Anywho, let's crack on and put the other petals on, shall we? Well, will you look at that? It's actually starting to look like a rose. I'm pretty chuffed as well as surprised at how well this is coming on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, stop patting yourself on the back. You'll probably end up breaking your arm. As you can see here, I've already primed the rose. Firstly in black and then given it a zenithal highlight. That's white from above to create shadows. But I forgot to put the sepals on. That's the green bits that look like tendrils. So I'd better mark them up, cut them out and glue the little buggers on. So here we go.
There we have five long ones, now for five shorter ones. Now all I'm doing is just gluing a band of foil over the ends of the sepals just to tidy up the base of it. And there we have those in place. That will need priming again. I'll do it the same way as I previously did, black base it with a white zenith. The primer I'm using is bloody great. I got it from a wargaming show in Leeds last year from, from a company called The Colour Forge. I got mine for 10 quid each, you get 500ml and the coverage is fantastic. Anywho, on to painting. This is the purple I'm using. I made this up when I painted my partner's Takedo figures about three years ago. Once it's ready, nice and thin and stirred up, I'll chuck it down on the rose using my airbrush. So, here we go. Oops, I forgot I did this. I popped a bit more white on the petals as I noticed that some of the petals start out white then go out to the different colour. Right, white done. Give the airbrush a quick clean then we can move on to the purple. If you don't have an airbrush, then you can always use a hairy stick for this. And there we have the purple done. I've not sprayed the petals a solid colour, as they aren't like that. I've tried, and hopefully succeeded, in giving them some colour modulation. Now onto spraying the sepal and the pedicle. I had to Google those because I didn't have a clue what they were called. Obviously, I'm spraying those green. There we have the green done. And all told, I think it's come along really nicely. What do you folks think? Let me know in the comments below. Now to move on to edge highlighting the sepals and pedicels with a lighter green just to add some variation to them. So let's get that sorted.
Right, that's those done. Nicely highlighted on the edges. Now for edging of the petals. This is a darker colour than the normal petal shade. So I've taken some of the purple we used earlier and added some red to it. So you can see the edges. Right, let's get that cracked. And that's the petals all done and edged. I'm really very chuffed with how this is turning out. Only two more things to do. Dewdrops and mounting. Dewdrops I hear you say? Yes, dewdrops. I'm doing those using UV resin and a UV torch or what is sometimes called black light. I'm creating the dewdrops by putting a small amount of UV resin on a petal, curing it with the UV light, then repeating the process to build up the dewdrops. I even managed to get a drop coming off one of the sepals. I'll slow the video down for those, if it's a decent shot, so you get to have a good look at them. So, let's get these dewdrops done, shall we? This was quite a long process, over 90 minutes to do the whole lot. So I'm going to chop this section down and it's a shame because I didn't get any decent video of the droplets. I'd made them by using oversized amounts on the cocktail stick, dabbing them on the underside of the sepals until we got it to run. Then I popped on the UV torch and I was lucky after only two attempts to get it right. You'll be able to see them in the pictures. I'll point them out. Next, we're going to paint the stem and let it dry. There we have the stem painted. And now for the final part, fitting the rose to the base. I use UV resin, then pop the UV torch over it, set like a rock, jobs are good. There we go, one rose made with aluminium foil and a barbecue skewer. Now for those glamour shots. Enjoy!
there we go. I'm sure I didn't need to point out the droplets coming off the sepals, did I? So, if you made it this far, thank you very much for joining me on this special journey. A huge thank you to my fiancé, who has been there for me through thick and thin, and for unwavering support she has given me over the last few trying years. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy your Valentine's present. Anywho, don't forget, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.